Hello everyone, I am Dr. Gomati and in this video we are going to see how to use a regular expression to validate the field. Before we proceed, I'd like to tell you that this is my GitHub page where you can find the code which I'm explaining in the video for your reference. So you can see all these things here. I'll be sharing this GitHub uh, link in my description. So please check that. And this is my blog. Okay, so you can uh, you will uh, you will get the information in a written format, the complete detailed information here. And uh, if you just click on any one of the blog article, then you will find the follow page. Please follow my blog. And also, this link I have given in the description. And this is my YouTube channel. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to get the information the latest information about the microsoft dynamics 365 and this is the playlist of the complete videos okay so you can start from the basics towards the advanced so i will be updating the video content every week let me just tell you the introduction to regular expression so regular expressions are extremely useful in extracting information from any text by searching for one or more matches of a specific search pattern of course regular expressions are also used to validate your uh, field so we are going to just go and see how to validate the field before that i'll tell you what are the basic uh, symbols and characters we'll be using uh, to validate to match the string and find the uh, exact string which we want okay so the basic strings are carrot string carrot okay so this this is a special character called carrot this carrot you can see in the key six okay so if you press shift and uh, press the six you will get the symbol carrot symbol so what is this specifically means so this matches any string that starts with for example if i am trying to write um the okay if i use like this then it will match for any character which starts with the okay the car okay so whatever it may be even if i give t only if i give t it will search for any character which starts with t okay so you can give any character here okay so that is how it will find so starts with any character okay so starts with it will check for this and if you use a dollar okay it will find uh, where it ends with for example if i give um dollar in the sense it will check whether is there any ending string with gomati okay uh, so for example if i am uh, i have in, if any sentence is like that let us call gomati okay so here this gomati is the ending string right so this will match up okay so you can even give the combination for example it should starts with the and ends with gomati okay or it should starts with let and ends with gomati okay so which means that it will search for the extract string which starts and ends with uh, let and gomati okay so this is what so this is how you can just do or else if you simply give any character okay gomati or let whatever the character it may be if you are just trying to find out this character which occurs anywhere in the string then you can simply use the string directly so these are all the basic symbols okay apart from this we have a uh, few characters called quantifiers okay so the quantifiers are basically hyphen asterisk plus question mark and the brackets that is open and close curly braces this we will call it as a curly brace okay so this curly brace you can use it in the <clears throat> next to p okay that is you have to press shift and use that p if you simply use that is next to p so if you simply press that it will open the square bracket okay it will use a, you can use a square bracket or else the curly braces so let us understand what is this okay if you are using a hashtags for example if you are using bc hashtags okay so this matches a string that has bc 
followed by zero or more characters for example any character it might be but the first character should be bc and after bc it might be any characters bc is um, the trending technology so whatever it may be you just wanted to write so it will first just go and search for this okay it will just find for where is bc okay and after that you can have anything okay star hashtags you can use it if i give bc plus okay this matches a string that has bc followed by one or more okay bc which is followed by one or more characters and if you use question mark okay so this has um, uh, this matches a string that has bc followed by zero or one okay not one or more zero or one okay bc question mark if you use question mark okay and if you use a b uh, b c 2 okay this matches a string that has b c followed by two characters okay that should be b c and then there might be uh, any two characters for example a b <clears throat> okay i hope you understand so like that we can use this uh, curly braces uh, wherever we want so with this simple uh, simple introduction I'll just go and start writing the validation here. So now we are going to create a simple page. Okay, so I'm just going to create a simple page here and uh, ID um, and I'm just going to use the regular expression. G E X um, probably, okay, regular expression validation, okay. So this is what the page and let it be here. I'm not going to call any table. Okay, I'm not going to use any table here and uh, I'm not going to use any actions as well here. So I'm just going to delete this action here. Okay, so let us create a variable before. So the thing is what, how we are going to create this, I'll just show you the appearance, like what we are going to, um, how we are going to design the uh, page, okay? So the in the page we will be creating, there will be uh, input called, input okay where uh, we'll be designing uh, that is we will be getting the text here and once if i click a uh, uh, tab or if i click enter it should display a message it will display it will validate and tell us like whether you have entered the correct match correct uh, expected input or not okay this is what so for this okay for this i need a text input so i'm just going to give the var variable okay that is input i'm just going to use the input and text uh, first of all i'm going to use a simple regular expression so i'm just going to use this and you all should know that we have a code unit called regx okay if you just go to the object designer and if you type uh, regx okay you can see that you have regular expression reg x is the code in it and you can see regular expression split wrapper dot net reg x reg x implement so everything has its own functionality we are going to now use reg x okay so for this i i wanted to call this reg x so i'm just going to create a variable where i'll be calling this regular expression okay the simple code in it i'm just i have called it and uh, so we have to create a pattern okay a simple regular expression pattern so i'm just going to create a pattern uh, as a variable and i'm just going to make it make this pattern okay text okay now let us write the simple uh, field okay let us create a simple field that is called input and inside this application area is equal to all i'm going to create a trigger on validate okay and inside that we are going to begin and end. inside the begin and end i'm going to create a pattern so what is a pattern so uh, first input is what i'm going to create an employee id that is i'm going to validate the employee id so for that employee id that is the first three characters should be the alphabets okay a b c it may be uh, the name of uh, the um, company okay followed by a hyphen and then combination of uh, numbers or the um, alphabet okay it may be one two three one three three or a one two three okay a one two okay so this is what 
what i wanted here is what first three characters should be exactly the character that is an alphabet and then it should followed by a, a hyphen and then the next three characters it may be the combination of numbers and then uh, uh, numbers and um, uh, what to say like uh, uh, alphabet okay so uh, so it should be only three okay here uh, before uh, uh, hyphen it should be three and after hyphen it should be three that's that is what our expectation okay so we are going to write this code uh, this pattern here so for the pattern i have to tell that open square bracket so uh, so square bracket inside the square bracket i can tell that uh, it should be like you can give any word between for example because as I told it should be between A to Z Okay, so any word between A to Z and it should be exactly matches the three uh, Three characters. Okay, only three words you can sorry three characters you can give Okay, and then it should followed by the hyphen and it can contain anything between 0 to 9 uh, or it should be anything between a to z okay and even it should be only three characters got it so this is what the pattern i wanted okay so this is a simple pattern so that is the first should be only the alphabet the next should be the combination of alphabet and the number okay so as i told we have stored the reg x that is reg x coordinate and the reg x um variable dot is match we are going to just match that so what is the um, procedure that is what is the parameter we have to pass for the is match function so you have to give what is the input what is the text you wanted to match and where it should start it okay so i'm going to give that the first one is input okay so in the input field i'm going to enter the value and then it should match the pattern okay the, in the pattern i have given all these things and it should starts with zero okay if regex is match then what it should display a message match okay else it should show the error uh, please follow the proper employee id or please enter the valid input okay so this is how it works yes so uh, this is how we are going to do so in the input we are going to okay let us make it as employee id fine okay because since we are just using employee id so i'm going to make it as employee id and also here let us make employee id okay so this is what let us just save this okay and i hope in the launcher json it is 50107 let us execute this code and see what happens now great so here i'm just going to enter a b c hyphen one two three and if i press tab it will tell me that it is matched if i give one two uh three hyphen a b c and if i press tab it will say that please enter the valid input okay so here also with a regular expression also you can uh, you can validate the input for example if you wanted to validate the email id if you wanted to validate the phone number so everything can be done so let us see one more validation here okay so let us go and write the validation for email okay so for that i'm going to create an another variable called email and i'm going to use the text and um, let us have 70 for example so anyhow it it will not more than that it might not be more than that but it's better and then next i'm going to call this field email uh, email okay and inside that i'm going to make it as an application area is equal to all and trigger on validate begin so in the pattern i wanted to give the exact pattern so since I am just calling this pattern P-A-T-T-E-R-N colon equal to 
and here i have to give what inside the single quotes i have to tell something should starts with okay we have already understood about what is a caret symbol and inside that starts it might be small a to small z okay capital a to capital z okay and zero to nine because it might be the combination of uh, characters like we can also have gomati one two three okay so it might be a some small letters capital letters whatever the letters they are just giving you should accept plus underscore okay it should have it can also have underscore or dot or hyphen okay and then okay underscore dot or hyphen and it should have at the rate okay and even for that at the rate it should be a to z because we cannot if you want to give exactly like gmail or uh, yahoo or something you can also give that as of now i am just checking at the rate okay so you can give a to z a to z and zero to nine the same thing dot and hyphen okay that will not underscore that will not accept the underscore and then plus it might be the dollar so here i'm just giving what i'm just using uh, the simple uh, okay i wanted to close it here okay and a colon and equal to should be uh, nearby okay great so now i'm going, just going to match the expression if reg x dot s match i'm going to tell which is the input email is my input and what is the pattern i'm going to use pattern and then from where it should start from it should starts from zero that is the first character and why i'm using zero because the index value starts with zero and then then it should print a message called matched yell so here i should not use the semicolon yells it should display the error message called invalid input okay so let us save this and we will try to execute this and see how it works so what is this error okay so let us execute this code okay now we have two fields one is email id and second one is um employee id so in the email id i'm going to use a at gmail.com so it will tell me it is matched if i give something like go mati and then if i try to um uh, go from go away from that particular field then it will show me that re, uh, the regular expression is not properly given so here you can also do like if you wanted to match the exact um Uh, email id with for example it should be a gmail okay or it should be a, a yahoo then you can also try that okay so uh, these are all the regular uh, the usage of regular expressions where we can use to validate the fields as well so you can try uh, uh, the name if it should not contain any dots okay the only they have to give the first name in the sense only the name with a space okay then you can validate that so this is how you can use regular expressions hope it is very easy for you to understand okay you can even use a source that is a data source here and then you can call that field and for that particular field you can validate it you all i hope you all know that um how to call that so if you are unaware of how to uh, use the source data source and everything please check my previous video in the previous video i have shown like how to connect the page and the table everything in detail okay i hope you f uh, find this video useful you have learned something from here you can try uh, the uh, validation with a phone number and you can leave a comment like what you tried and whether you got the output thank you take care bye bye